On the flip side, we're looking at a chairlift, and we see that it has an angle of elevation of 28 degrees. It, it covers a distance of 4,640 feet. We're looking for the vertical height. What is the height that the chair lift will take you? Well, we have to look here and decide what information do we have. We have the angle. We're using the opposite side. And we're also using across from the 90, which is the hypotenuse. So thinking of Sokotoa, opposite over hypotenuse, that sign so we're going to use sine of 28, which equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Now one way to solve this is to put it into a proportion and cross multiply. So we'll get 4,640 times the sine of 28 to equal H. You can bring over a calculator. 4,640. Let's be sure we're in the correct mode first. So we have to hit the mode key. And you see that we're in degree. It's required that we're in degree. If you're using a scientific calculator, most likely that's already in degree. If you're using a graphing calculator, there's a good chance that it might be in radian if you haven't switched it yet. Times the sine of 28. So it's got a vertical height of 2,178. You are 50 feet from the screen at a drive-in movie theater. Your eye is on the horizontal line with the bottom of the screen, and the angle of elevation is 58. How tall is the screen? So we make a triangle, and the screen standing up perpendicular, so we know this is a right triangle. We're trying to figure out the height of this screen. So what trig function would we use by the given information? Opposite over adjacent. Remember Sokotoa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite and adjacent. Adjacent means next to. So the tangent of 58 equals the opposite side to the adjacent side. We can turn this into a proportion by putting it over 1. Cross multiply to get 50 times tangent of 58. H times 1 is just H. Use our calculator. 50 times the tangent of 58. We get 80.02. And that is, if we have our units, that's in feet. You're using an extension ladder to paint the chimney. The length of the extension ladder ranges in one foot increments from a minimum length to its maximum. For safety, you should always use the angle of elevation of 75.5 degrees with the ground. You place the base of the ladder three feet. How many feet 
should the latter be? So we know that we have this triangle. And we're three feet from the wall, from the chimney. We've got a 75.5 degrees. And the question is, how long is the ladder? So you got to understand what the question is before you can ever answer it. you got to know where the information is that you're working with. From the 75 degree point of view, 3 is adjacent and the X is the hypotenuse. So thinking of Sokotoa, we're going to use adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse, I know that that's going to be the cosine. Cosine of the angle equals the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. Place that over 1 and cross multiply. And then we would need to divide by the cosine of 75.5. So 3 divided by the cosine of 75.5. We get 11.98 and again we're looking here at one foot increments for the last question we're working with a skyscraper, big tall building. You're standing here, 42 degrees to the top of the building. The building's 780 feet tall. Your friend is standing closer to the building. When they look up, they're looking at a 71 degree angle. The question is, how far are we here? So you you got to come in, come up with some plans. How could we possibly solve for the distance between you and your friend? Well, if we took the big triangle forty two degrees, and we found out that total distance that it takes to get to the building and then still 780 feet tall building this time we're at 71 degrees where your friend stands we need to figure out how close they are to the building and once you do that then we can subtract the two to see what would be left over. So we're going to do tangent of 42 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Put it over 1, cross multiply. So using our calculator, we're going to get 780 divided by the tangent of 42. That gives us 86628. 
Lynette's feet. Then we're going to do tangent again, but this time we're going to have the angle of 71. Cross multiply. Divide by the tangent of 71. So we have 780 divided by the tangent of 71. Now you're 268.58 feet. So, if we're 866.28, and this is where your friend's standing, 268.58, what is x? What is the distance here? What's the distance between you and your friend? So we're going to take the 866.28, that's the whole distance, we're going to minus the 268.58, that's this little bit here, that's going to give us a leftover amount. 866.28 minus 268.58 and we're going to get 597.7 feet.